Hey everyone, Coach AP here. Lots of comments and questions from the episode I did entitled FTP and TTE. What those two acronyms stand for is obviously functional threshold power. Many people know that. And TTE is stands for time to exhaustion. And this is a, a new metric that I use on WKO5 uh, to make training strategies and decisions when coaching athletes, as well as um, some race strategies that I'll talk about here in a minute. But I wanted to uh, clear up some questions and just respond to some of these comments about, you know, what is TTE? And I thought FTP was around an hour. Okay, so let me do a brief history lesson um, that'll just take a, a minute or two, and then I'll talk about how I use TTE today. So again, my original intent with this podcast was to just get athletes thinking about their training in a different way to understand and also start to use some of these new tools and metrics that are now available to you. Historically speaking, FTP uh, has been defined as the power you can sustain for about an hour in a quasi steady state manner before you fatigue. FTP was developed by Dr. Andy Coggin at Training Peaks and in search of a functional meaning how how can we apply this out on the road with our uh, bike and our new power meter um, and how do I take this concept of a threshold that anyone can use using these tools and the way he got about it was from lab-based lactate threshold data in conjunction with some 40k time trial data. And we came up with this functional threshold power concept. This about an hour eventually turned into 30 to 70 minutes as we learned more about how athletes could produce and hold their power based on uh, things like athlete phenotype, um, which means the muscle fiber type that they have in conjunction with just their training state, how fresh and fatigued they were, what they've been training lately and some other factors like that. But we all, but the main thing is this about an hour, we started to learn that it could be 30 all the way up to 70 minutes. And that's really important to figure out because that's a big time gap. If you're <laughs> thinking about it, you know, that's a 40 minute time gap. So how do we get more specific? Well, as we drilled down and started to uncover some of the mysteries of the coaching, the individual athlete or the individual uh, aspects about an athlete, we became more sophisticated, developed better tools and have this model derived duration component of how long someone can hold their FTP. And we call this TTE or time to exhaustion. The definition of TTE is the maximum duration for which a power equal to FTP can be maintained. And you can influence this through training. You can either train intensively, meaning try to increase power at FTP, and you will likely decrease or shorten your TTE. Conversely, you can train extensively and try to hold your power at FTP for longer and try to extend the time that you can hold TTE. And those are the two simple ways that you can influence this new metric. So how do I use it? Well, with proper field testing and accurate up to date data, I use TTE and FTP to develop training strategies for my athletes to determine if we need to increase, if we need more power, or if we need to hold that power for longer, just like I described. And that's all based on the specificity of the events that they're doing. So quick example is, you know, if we're racing a short criterium or a 60 to 90 minute cross country mountain bike race, I will generally want higher power. So I'm not going to be as concerned with a long TTE and a shorter one is fine because I want more power or higher FTP. Now, if I have an athlete, a road racer or a time trialist or a stage racer, I want a more balanced or a longer TTE of which that TTE may be 45 upwards to 60, maybe even fingers crossed 70 minutes if I really need it, but somewhere between 45 and 60 minutes. And I use ex both intensive and extensive training to do that, but perhaps the best way to do it is to train extensively, meaning using 
two by 30 minutes of the lower end of FTP in order to get that TTE all the way out there to where I want it to be. Finally, I use these metrics to develop some race strategies as well, especially around time trialing. And when I have accurate data and I've been field testing for a current time period, when I'm targeting a power for a certain duration, I promise you I am within a few watts in a few seconds every single time. And that goes for a UCI World Tour Pro all the way down to a Masters racer who is just getting after it on the weekends. So I hope that this short little clip about TTE and FTP helps to clear up what this new metric is and how you can apply it to your own training. Thank you.